Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome to Cooking Simulator VR and today I'm gonna be cooking one of my favorite dishes for you and that is salmon and asparagus. This is gonna be such a great meal and you're gonna love it. But if you'd like to see more Cooking Simulator on the channel, don't forget to smack the like button. Check it out. We got a lot of supplies here, but before we touch the raw meats, we're gonna wanna put on some gloves to prevent cross-contamination. And then we're gonna go over here. This is for our asparagus, it's a grill pan. And then we got a, get over here. We got a frying pan for our salmon. Boom, bang. We're gonna start that. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna grab some basic olive oil. There we go. And we're gonna need some salt and pop it there. So normally asparagus will take a lot longer than salmon, but I'm not sure about this game. So let's go up. We're gonna grab some asparagus. We're gonna grab like three stalks of it. There we go. Grab our olive oil, take the cap off, and just a little bit. And then you throw that away. Don't worry about that. Then you go and grab your salt, and you salt your asparagus pretty good. Like, like a lot. Oh no, that was sugar. This one's salt. So you're gonna salt your asparagus pretty good. Just like that. Get rid of the sugar flavor. And we gotta make sure our stove is on. And we gotta heat up the oil. Um, when it, when it says it's heated up, we throw these asparagus guys in there. And there we go. Olive oil is nice and hot. So we just toss these bad boys in. Just like that. You hear that? You hear that? They're frying. Okay, now we're gonna get this pan here heating up. I don't know if we, we need to do anything with our salmon other than some salt. Grab our tiny salmon filet, bring it on over, and then we salt this bad boy vigorously on all sides. Perfect. Okay, grab a spatula or two. We'll have one for asparagus, one for salmon. Okay, how are these, how are these looking? They're looking pretty good. Just flip them a little bit, just like that. Yep, and now we get our salmon on. Boom, yeah. Okay, now we grab a plate. Bring it on over. This is a grill, but it's not on. The salmon is... The salmon's not cooking because the grill wasn't on. And check it out. Asparagus is done. So dump all your oil on the floor just like I did. Just kidding, don't do that. Toss the asparagus on the plate nicely. Presentation's the most important part about a good homemade dish. Get back on there. And then your salmon, you're going to want to flip it part way through. Okay, check it out. Salmon filet is totally cooked. Pop it on your plate and check it out. We have a perfectly cooked dish of salmon and asparagus. So we bring it on over here and enjoy. That's your guys' food right there. Eat up. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what your favorite meal is. Okay, turn this off. Off. Just like that. Um, now what do we do? I guess we can cook professionally, so we can go over to our computer here. Okay, we're on the order manager. Let's see what dish looks good, and we'll try to cook it professionally. We already did salmon. Ooh, a hamburger. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Okay, we're gonna do this. Ba bang. And now we're gonna cook a burger professionally. So we have the recipe up here. Add to a baking tray. Where the heck are our baking trays? Baking tray? Baking tray? Wait, these are baking trays. Oh. Okay. Okay, we need one burger bun and bake it for 30 seconds. Burger bun. Okay, so we go over. Oops. Let's grab two burger buns. Then it says bake for 30 seconds. So we open this bad boy up and we uh, put this in like that. There we go. And bake for 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. I don't know how long 30 seconds is. Oh no, I think it's been way over 30 seconds. Stop. Oh yeah, those are some crispy burger buns if I've ever seen them. Okay, we got our burger buns. Let's bring these bad boys over here. They're nice and toasty. Burger meat next. We're gonna need some salt and we're gonna need some pepper. And it says season with salt three grams and black pepper three grams, okay. Uh, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. It looks amazing. And then we fry it for 50 seconds each side. Let's grab a timer. That might be easier. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. 
Grab it. And flip it. Perfect. Okay. Now we do another 40 seconds. Right. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Grill off. There we go. Put it on the bun. Ba bang. Shut up. Be quiet. Oh, jeez. I smacked the wall. Okay, we got our b burger. It says to drizzle in ketchup. We got some ketchup. That looks delicious. All right, so we got the main ingredients here. So we're going to bring this on over to this table here. We're going to need tomato, onion, cheddar, and that's it. Bang. Grab a fresh cutting board. Smack it down. Grab a knife. Careful. These are very dangerous. We need cheddar. Um, 25 grams. How do you know how much 25 grams is? Well, this block is 150. So if we do a quarter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is that, is that 25? That's 54 grams. So if we cut this bad boy in half. Uh, cut it in half. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be a very cheesy burger. Um, come on. There we go. Okay, now we need our onion. It says 20 grams. This bad boy is 120. So we're just gonna... Cut it in half. That's 55. Chop! 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 Uh... Chop! Just cut it. Oh, that's 24. That's almost perfect. Okay, there we go. And tomato, the last piece. I don't like tomatoes on my burgers. It's kind of gross. Just chop! Ooh, look at that slice. 27 grams. There we go. And then we just close this bad boy up. Um, yeah, that looks like a burger to me. Okay, carefully carefully onto a plate uh we might need to rearrange this a bit we got a burger yeah oh let's take the plate on over i hope you enjoy it get out of there S wait serve serve it it looks good to me okay i don't know what's happening over here they're not taking my plate of burger that's it i'm going mad gordon ramsay you're so mean Okay, that's it. I've gone crazy. This place is run down. I'm grabbing these gas containers. That's it. We're cooking the best meal anyone's ever seen. They're gonna be in awe. Pop that bad boy in there. Never do this, by the way, unless you're in a high-class restaurant who specializes in cooking. This goes in here, right? Like that. There we go. They don't like my meal. Well, guess what? Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna need one more thing in here though. There we go, blow torch. Oops, I dropped it. And, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Dang it, I totally forgot my ingredients. So, we're gonna cook over here, right? We got this. Let's grab our pot. There we go. Stick it on top. Awesome. Water, perfect. We're gonna need a lot of potatoes. Okay, we got our potatoes. And now we need some scallions. I guess those work. Just one scallion. Oh, almost dropped everything. Dual wield. Chop the potatoes up into little chunks. Same with the scallion. Come on. Chop. Chop, we need meat cleavers. Okay, those look like they're in edible chunks to me. Get them all back on the cutting board like this and dump it into our pot. Amazing. Now you gotta get it boiling. That stove broke, it doesn't work anymore. So here we go. Nice and gently start, start the boil. Oh no, my potatoes. They exploded everywhere. Is that a sponge? This is a sponge. These floors are dirty. Wait, what is this? A pro cutter? There was one of these inside the kitchen the whole time. I could have just been cutting potatoes with that. Let's grab our bucket. Let's go grab some potatoes. This bucket is too heavy. Okay, grab it. Oh, there we go. I'm losing some potatoes. Grab the other other side of the bucket and dump them in. There we go. Chop them up. Okay. I think that's enough potatoes. All right, now you grab your bucket. You fill it with water. Then you go over to your stove, you turn it on, and my game is lagging. Grab the potato tray, oh yeah, there we go. And you dump, dump them in. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Now you grab another ball, one that's not breakable, but this is all I have for now. I might need a bigger one. We're gonna need our mop bucket back. <laughs> Don't question it. Oh, 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 potato's done. Potato's done. Turn that off. Get the potatoes out of here. Now we gotta drain our water. You just dump the water out. Usually use the colander for this. Do we have a colander? I'm just dropping it everywhere. Perfect. Like one of these bad boys. Grab our potatoes and you just dump it in. Oh, oh yeah, that kind of worked. Grab your mop bucket. <laughs> That's all I got. Don't question it. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Dump it in. Nice. Oh, those are going to be such, such tasty mashed potatoes. So you bring it over here. You grab your whisker. Whisker? Um, whisk. And you whisk it into mashed potatoes, right? All right. And now we just grab a bowl. Dump it. Oh my gosh. That's like potato soup. There you go. Mashed potatoes. All right. Well, anyways, um, there we go. That's how you cook salmon and asparagus. Probably my best dish today. Um, and somewhat mashed potatoes minus the mop bucket and explosions. But if you enjoyed this episode, would like to see more cooking simulator VR, don't forget to smack that like button. And I'm going to get out of here before I'm fired. Stay sweet.